If you're a businessman in New York, you look at what's going on, what has been going on in Washington, D.C., and you say, what on earth is wrong with these people? Why can't they get anything done? I mean, this is a lament we have heard during the Bush administration, the Obama administration, and now the Trump administration, and I totally understand it. When you viewed from the outside, the complete inability of the parties to come together and pass just about anything uh, is infuriating, and people are angry about it, and I think that's one of the things that drove the last election. Well, now we hear from a very prominent New York businessman, Jamie Dimon. He, of course, is the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. And it's not that he's completely politically neutral here because he is on a presidential advisory council. So he's kind of an advisor to Donald Trump. Uh, and he was on an earnings conference call and he kind of unloaded. And he unloaded, first of all, on the press, saying uh, rhetorically to reporters about this gridlock and paralysis inside the Beltway. Why you guys don't write about it every day is completely beyond me. And so I thought about that. Why don't we write about it every day? And I think we've written about it a lot. Uh, we wrote about it when George W. Bush couldn't get his um, Social Security privatization plan even to a committee vote. Uh, when Barack Obama virtually couldn't get anything through Congress after the first couple of years when he did push through on a party line vote, the health care plan. And certainly during the Trump administration, a lot of it has been, been through the prism of Trump. Why can't Donald Trump, with a Republican Party that controls both houses of Congress, get a health care bill through? The health care now bill uh, stalled in the Senate. Uh, Mitch McConnell's plan to bring it to a vote uh, now set back indefinitely because John McCain is recovering from surgery and he needs that vote. Uh, and the same thing on a lot of other business. So here's some more of what Diamond says. He says that this administration can make breakthroughs in taxes and infrastructure and regulatory reform, except that we haven't seen the tax cut proposal yet, nor have we seen the big infrastructure plan. And he goes on to say that, uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing that America has become one of the most bureaucratic, confusing, litigious societies on the planet. It's almost an embarrassment, uh, says Diamond, being an American citizen traveling around the world and listening to the stupid S we have to deal with in this country. And at some point, he says, we have to get our act together. So I agree with all that. The gridlock is driving a lot of people crazy. But what you don't understand when you look at it from the outside, and this is not to defend it, is that both parties have become more polarized. Uh, both uh, congressional districts have been drawn in a more polarizing fashion. Uh, constituents are more polarized. The media are more polarized. And that makes it awfully hard to find any middle ground. Now, the only way that uh, this might get resolved is if, if, if Trump and Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell can't push through any major legislation, they might have to do some deals with Democrats, just as, for example, Newt Gingrich did with Bill Clinton uh, back in the 1990s. Now, you know, it's also um, everyone does it. So the Republicans uh, dragged their feet during the Obama administration. Now the Democrats are having payback, dragging their feet during the Trump administration. I sympathize with Jamie Dimon. It's hard to write this story every day because it's like saying, hey, it's really hot and humid in Washington in July. And you all know that.